at the end of our Sile Alley here at Titans of CNC. And as many of you know, maybe some of you don't, we are the sole U.S. distributors of these Sile machines. And as part of that responsibility, we get to bring you their newest and greatest machines. Um, today, we've shown you a lot of the mills, right? You have the X5, the X7, the X9, but today we want to introduce you to the first of the turning machines that are going to be in here in the shop, and that is the L2. All right, now one thing I want to show you guys before we go ahead and run this part is how she runs at that max RPM. Sometimes when you ramp that speed all the way to the top, these machines will shake a little bit, they'll vibrate. But I want to go ahead and show you that 4,000 RPM max right now. All right, so here we are running 4,000 RPM. I can't even feel her barely vibrating. This machine is just under 6,800 pounds. She's stout and she holds nice and still even at that max RPM. Now, one of the things I do want to point out, and it does come standard on all our styles now, is the Siemens Cinumeric control. And I gotta say, I wasn't too familiar with this control before the styles came in, and I have absolutely fallen in love with this control. It's a legit control. It has very powerful, a lot of options that I really love. And the great thing, again, is it is gonna be standard across all these machines. So if you have a Sile L2 and you have a Sile X7 in your shop, they're gonna have the same control. You'll be able to bounce back and forth and run all the machines with no problem at all. And that is always a great thing to not have to bounce between control to control to control. We basically wrote this entire program using the G-code function. Really easy to do. I created a contour right here that you can see. Here's, here's basically my whole part from the beginning, from the thread to the thread relief. Up here, I created this whole arc and then basically my final radius right there. After that, I just came, I started putting in all my functions from facing to turning, all this. I was actually able to use rest machining, so I was able to come in with a CNMG and then do a rest machining with G-code to come in and remove the remaining material and finish the part. Super cool, super high speed, love the control. Okay, so here you can see, it's gonna show you exactly what it's doing. Again, really, really good detail. Come in, my CNMG's here. You see it put a little bit of a cut there because it could with the CNMG, but it only took what it could. Here I come in with my V-Style using that rest machining option in the conversational. Coming over here to the right side, you notice that I do have an air gun here, but I do want to point out that this machine doesn't actually take any air. Everything is powered from hydraulics. I dropped an airline here only to run this air gun. Now you can see down here, now we have our chip collection down here. Um, not too hard to get out, really. You have some chips, you get yourself like a maybe a snow shovel or something, you can go ahead and pull your chips out, put them in a container and dump them. If you see yourself maybe in a more high production environment, there is a chip conveyor option for this that you can add on. All right, so we're gonna take you to the other side of the machine right now. And again, speaking of that, you know, high production side of things, you do have the option here. We can take off our, our back and we can run bar through our machine right there. Now you do have a 2.6 inch maximum capacity bar that you can run through. And it looks like they have the bar length. I'm gonna say it looks to be roughly about a 36 inch bar that you would cut. But if you wanna take that productivity even up another step, this machine is bar feed compatible to connect with a bar feeder of your choice. All right, so we've showed you the outside, and now we want to show you what it looks like right in here on the inside. Now, again, it's a pretty tight space, but there's a lot of good stuff that happens right here. We have a eight inch chuck, right? A three jaw chuck. Now, this comes standard with the machine. If you want, you can always replace this for a collet chuck or something that suits your manufacturer and needs a little bit better. Uh, one of the things that's really cool is we do have a touch probe option here. Now, and a lot of times on these more affordable machines, you won't necessarily always see high-end equipment, but here we actually do have a Renishaw Touch Probe, so no, uh, no cost was too much here for the probing system, and that's actually a really great thing to see. All right, so our turret is a BMT45 turret, which for being a standard across the board turret, it's actually a pretty good deal. BMT tooling is nice, rigid, you don't have to uh, mess with the centering and stuff like that, so that's really cool. 
It does come with six outside holders, right? So you have three ID holders and you have three also holders for basically your Z orientated stick tooling. Now the final feature here is our tailstock. You do have to loosen these bolts to move it forward, but you do have a programmable quill. All right, so that's gonna go ahead and that's gonna wrap up our demonstration of the L2. Again, here is uh, the first piece of our rocket series. We'll actually be making all of our rocket series on this machine right here. We'll get to show you solid cam, our new cam partner. We'll get to show you more of the L2 and we get to update the rocket series. So super excited about that. Um, if you guys are looking for any more information on this machine or any of the rest of our SIO machines and our line, make sure you reach out to Keith at titansofcnc.com. Go online, get some information. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe. We'll see you next time.